Hello and welcome to review on three different Bandai Lego Star Wars sets. These are all based on their new droid collection and there's gonna be just a few more coming down the line later. Uh, coming up what they are, you can look at the Bandai Star Wars model kit page. I'll put the link in the description below where they'll be showcasing more model kits coming in the new future as well as all the you know plane tests that they did as well as the recently face printed uh, Darth Vader update that they did as well but I'm not picking that one up because I don't need to build a model kit Darth Vader since I already have the SH figure arts as well I did eventually buy a Luke figure arts that comes with the helmet off Vader head so I'll take a look at that eventually <laughs> but um, whatever back to here we have R2-D2 Rocket Booster version. I'm going to say this right now. If you have the original R2-D2 model kit, it is the exact same one, just with some extra accessories. Not just the Rocket Booster accessories, but there are a few other accessories as well. And the gimmick of this line is some of these other droids will also contain R2-D2 accessories, which um, can be quite annoying for some people. But the upside is these model kits are quite cheap. This R2-D2 and all these other ones, they're all about 120 to 130 Hong Kong dollars. So these are cheap 112 scale droids that you can pick up. So R2-D2, we have R419. Now this is an important one to pick up because the actual mold and shape of the dome and the head is actually different from your regular R2 unit. Oh yes, the other one that's coming out is gonna be this one, this black R4, and there already is an R4 one out there in a two pack with R2-D2. So you can just get that and paint it black if you want to, but uh, this one also can have another R2-D2 accessory, of course. So we have R2-Q5 here, and um, speaking of droids, my original R2-D2, I picked up the dual pack with BB-8. R2-D2 was also released on his own, as well as with C-3PO, so there's many ways to pick up an R2-D2 Bandai model kit. Many, many ways. So once again, you can pick it up on his own with C-3PO, with BB-8, or this updated pack, right? As always, these boxes show you a lot of the details on the side, and these images are obviously fully painted, as well as some photos and basic description of these choices from where they come from the movies. And on this side, it shows you the other ones are coming. The final one is coming in March, so I'll be getting that one as well, just to complete the set, hey. And one thing that these boxes don't show is the actual size of the model kit when you build them. Now Bandai model kits usually show something like that on the side of the boxes, but not these ones. I don't know why, so that's a bit of a shame. And this was the original booklet that I had in the uh, previous video, so BB-8 and R2-D2. A little bit thicker than the other ones, and see all the paint guys and stuff in the back, so whatever. So here we have R2-D2 rocket booster version showing images from episode 2. Yep, and of course, the paint guide on the back as well as, hey, you got all these new accessories, different arms that you can use now. Now some of these were included with the original one, and I guess if you could just compare it. Now it looks like, now even with the BB-8 uh, attachments as well, there's less compared to the new one, so this new R2 is definitely an upgraded version. Which does suck, it's like buying something and then you have DLC, but you need to buy it again. But since this is the R2 unit, I'm not too bothered about it, because if you play with Star Wars and stuff, you're gonna get a lot of astromech droids. So the original R2, I haven't done it yet, but I'll probably paint him into a red one. Uh, like the one Obi-Wan uses maybe, so that's something I could do with it. So I'm not too annoyed, and plus this was released like with a year or two years in between. So it wasn't like they were just stealing money from you. They're like, oh, let's just do it and uh, hold some stuff back. No, this is, they've actually, decide to put new stuff in here afterwards. We have a R4 i9 here, so this is this Imperial one. And again, on the back, a look quick guide. And what to do with the R2 attachments. And finally, this R2 Q5 there. Again, Imperial one. This always reminds me of a soy sauce bottle for some reason. Probably because there was a soy sauce bottle released at some point in this color scheme, like an astromech droid. So yeah, now this one doesn't have that many accessories, so at least not that many accessories advertised, but since this is essentially the exact same kit as R2-D2, just molded in a different color, plus the bonus accessory, yeah, you can... This droid still has all of the extra arms that the regular R2 unit has as well, so not losing out on stuff. Right, so I'm just going to compare the uh, old set with the new one. Let's uh, start off with uh, some of the decals or stickers that they come with. Now, 
Now the old set came with a pretty big sticker sheet. You see I've used some of the little pattern ones, but overall I haven't used that many stickers on it compared to, uh, compared to some other model kits. But it also came with a water slide decal sheet as we can see here. The new model kits seem to not have this decal sheet anymore, which is a bit of a shame, but um, I guess if you're going to use decal sheets and you're probably going to paint some of the details on anyway, so maybe not necessary, but still a bit of a shame. This is one of the good things about the model kits, that you get both decal and sticker, and it was awesome. One thing about these stickers that's a huge shame that they come from the water slide is that these smaller circle dot ones, they don't work. Uh, on the side of R2-D2, you have these grey areas here, that little bump, and the stickers just don't stick on them, they don't apply. And plus, even if they do stick, they can't go around the actual shape. So they're pretty pointless. If you stick one there, it looks like something on top. And it will fall off eventually because it's not fully applied. Same with uh, some really small sort of uh, straight cut ones or little silver bits. And none of them work. They just don't work. You see these tiny ones there, they're meant to be a little slot, like a little silver rectangle. They don't work because you've got the transparent edges that go out of the plastic, they don't stick properly. These are not the same type of sticks that you would get with the Candy Toy Kamen Rider figures, for example, where they're printed on a metallic foil. Metallic, you can bend that and shape that, but these thin plastic sheets, they just don't work. Flat pieces work a lot better and glue down very nicely. I have a PC, you see the orange, stuck onto this black piece those are fine just you know really use your finger to pop them down they stay fine but any small ones or any bumpy areas just don't work here's a quick look at the sticker sheets you can see the orange one i've used most of them i didn't have any orange spray i didn't couldn't be bothered i wasn't going to paint most of the orange one anyway since it looked fine without painting so i used the stickers the small ones again don't work then try to use them didn't work stop using them as with the bottom sheet here you see it's a lot bigger i'm not going to bother the silver one i've already painted it and the black ones i'll probably apply it before filming the next part of the video so here we are with all the accessories from these three droids and i fully expect that the next droid to come out to also have a lot of overlapping stuff as well but more on that in march i guess so on the bottom row here we have the identical accessories between all of them as well as the original R2-D2. So the original R2-D2 would have had these door panels and this top panel that would open up for where the accessories would pop out. And uh, the original instructions didn't have any names and terms for these. So I guess you can like look up on the weekend stuff. But the booster pack R2-D2 does have English translation on these items. So yeah. So I'm just going to go through them now. Let's see. So this item here is the scanner antenna. And then we have the periscope big item here, multifunction utility and interface arm, universal computer interface arm, got a grasping arm, circular saw, and power recharge arm, that little sapper thing that he uses. So all these three droids have these basic accessories, they're all the same. You can see I've done various levels of painting, I've painted the silver tip, applied the orange stickers, with uh, the main r 2 one I fully painted this. Uh, I've even did all the correct colors, and this one has some of the dirt red wing effect. Quite pleased with that. These door panels and the blue also has been painted, so it's less shiny and plasticky compared to the original plastic. These ones I just done the silver stuff, and this one I haven't just just the stickers, not <laughs> done any painting on them whatsoever. So the booster R two D two, aside from those, also has electro prod. Okay, so we've got two of these. They look the same. You've got more swinging open panels for different accessories. We have the butt of a lightsaber that just sticks out before I shoot it out at Luke. We have the, the jetpacks, of course, and this thing which has this like neck extend. I don't know. I don't remember seeing that, but okay. I think that's when it goes all crazy and stuff in Revenge of the Sith and at the start, and all the droids are like, oh, what's going on? Or when it goes Wah! and going all crazy. Lightsaber, I just painted that silver, but there should be a bit more black on that, but uh, whatever. And we also have the application arm. Come on, that's just like the oil sp spilling thing or whatever. And with the uh, grey droid, we also have the Drinkster Extra Cup. Don't know why. Uh, painted a little bit of metallic gold and got transparent green with brush and just went around the innards of the glasses to give it that green look. I didn't fill it up with anything. And you see, we actually have an extra dome here. Don't have all the parts, and you see this missing panel here. That's on the main droid's body, but I guess if you 
just buy another kit, you can have yourself a grey coloured R2-D2 or R2 whatever it would be if it's grey. That's cool, I guess. So you can just pick that up if that's cheaper and just build your own one because uh, you can almost just swap the head and just swap the eye and there you go, you have another figure. Uh, just not enough parts, but you can do that. As well as uh, some, as well as that circle bit there, you don't have to pull it from uh, the main droid as well. But that piece is quite fragile, so I don't recommend doing that. So you're much better buying a second one and building that. With the uh, orange, like Imperial one, we also have extra panels here for these two arms that pop out when he's going crazy. As well as this top bit that opens up, this is for the top, and this drinks dispenser arm. So you need this and that for the full Jabba's cell barge experience, I guess. So you need to buy two extra droids. Fortunately, again, these aren't too expensive and they're fun to build, I like them, but if you didn't want to do that, it would be a pain. So that is a slight negative. And of course, there's also gonna be one more R2-D2 part coming with the March droid as well. The regular droids all come with the standard flat piece as a base there for display stand, but of course the flying one has this attachment arm as well as this brick piece there. If you don't want this attachment now, remove it. There's a little gap in there and you put in this brick just to fill in the gap. Completely pointless. Uh, second black arm here, not sure what that's for. And you see there's a tray there and a lot of these holes. And these holes are for the accessories to peg into. So you have somewhere to store them, which is quite nice for a display stand. I kind of wish that this display stand would also come with the other droids because these droids have the accessories too. They're not advertised on the box. So what this is, is Bandai just using the same plastic molds and just not bother altering them because it's cheaper for them that way. It's cheaper for them to give you these extra accessories than to redo the machines. It's not because they're being generous. Still, it is a nice thing to have though with all these extra stuff. That is still good. Our two R2-D2s here. I thought this would be a good time to compare painted and not painted version. Now both of these have their silver domes painted. This one has a gloss finish and this one has a more matte finish to it. So, um, I think the difference is showing up on camera. It's not as easy to see on camera, but in, in, you just see it with your eyes. It's a huge, huge difference. The rest of this body has been uh, painted white, like properly painted, so it has a nice matte finish as well. And this one is still like the glossy plastic. And you can probably see that the silver is not touched up either. And this one, all the silver bits are done properly and it just looks so much better. The entire construction also feels a lot more tight on this one. Not impossible, but uh, it feels like that when they molded the model kits, they gave a little bit of space for a paint job. So that's cool, I guess. Meaning that after you paint these, my original complaint of these plates being too loose, uh, it's actually slightly fixed now that everything's been painted. They actually fit in snugly. They're not stuck either. So if you don't paint these joys, you will have some loose joints that's fixed when you paint it, which is good because you don't want things to get stuck after painting it. Now, that would be really painful. And uh, one other odd thing to note that's uh, one of these golden wires on my old one, it became brittle and just snapped off. Just one of them. Uh, I'm thinking of the other ones are brittle too, but I'm not going to risk it. So I'm just going to leave them be. And there you go. So I'll stick his thing back up there. This, like I said, this one's not painted, so it's much easier. And yeah, if you don't want to bother picking up a second R2-D2, like you're not painting these, you're just going to build them and that's that, leave them as action figures, regular action figures. This, uh, the extra accessories from the other droids do fit in just fine. You see, it just clips on very easily. If you don't want it, just remove it. Same with all the other odd accessories that come from the other droids as well. Speaking of the two other droids, uh, I've not painted this grey plastic at all because I quite like it shiny. It fits how it looks from the photos, that's fine. So I printed the silver bits and the black bits. And then I also applied these stickers. One thing I'll say about these stickers is the large area ones, once you've applied them properly, they look like they've been painted on. They're, they're very thin. You can also kind of push them along when you first apply them and they become more solid as time goes on. Just the small ones are really annoying. An annoying thing about them is that uh, the cutoff on the backing paper is not that good. So sometimes you tear the backing paper off with the sticker. That can be quite annoying. So not not the beginners type of stickers, but uh, once they put once they go on there, you see on the camera here. You see, look these these look like they're painted on. If you look at the silver there, does that look like a sticker? I don't think so. It matches the other silver leaf spray paints that I've done. So yeah, silver leaf spray paint, uh, gold paint for the wires of course and inside there I didn't bother the black sticker in those I just got a black marker pen and went over inside it because you can't tell I've painted it 
silver bits and black ink there again the marker i wasn't going to use sticker for these because that would have been painful and just horrible so with these ones i just uh, ran over the gap with the silver marker pen and just used my finger to rub off any excess on the edge on the sides that's fine same these little thin lines as well because if you put the sticker there then you will lose the 3d detail silver down the lines of these as well so yeah this one is cool uh, one sticker that doesn't come with is one of these shapes they're supposed to be black there's no sticker for that so you're gonna have to paint that yourself uh, i'm not too bothered i'm fine as is i think it looks fine they do come with silver stickers for these silver lines there that would have been really painful don't pull of those just get a silver marker pen run one it over once and you'd be much happier than trying to apply a sticker on that finally our soy sauce can here all of the orange is stickers this one in here is slightly messy you have to apply the sticker before you assemble the kit or if you don't you have to push this piece back out and apply the sticker otherwise it's going to be a bit of a pain and doesn't quite fill in the gaps because the sticker is not bigger than these two lines but it does feel like it reaches right up to the edge and you really want to apply it so that you know when you're pushing the plastic like in there like it, the kit sort of just goes like this so it just pushes the edges down which makes the sticker apply a lot better so you want to do that and uh, yeah just again just the silver bits with the marker pens and the orange stickers because i did apply some of these little details these little computer screens that you really need to have some sort of uh, plier or little needle to like rub that sticker sheet in there same goes for these two front panels as well uh, stayed with silver for these two dots but bandai with the other model kits comes with a few different colors for these eyes just like they change color in the movies of course you can't change the color with these you choose the sticker and that's that the sh figure Art does have a color changing function though so if you want that you can get the sh figure Art, which is more expensive and less custom ability but yeah this joint looks so cool in this color like you could just get the regular r2d2 but, um, you know, shiny plastic and kind of matte finish already on the plastic, so there was no painting needed. So you don't, even if you don't paint this, it's still look decent, but uh, you really should learn how to do the silver bits because that just elevates it so much more. If you are a big Star Wars fan, these droids are awesome. If you're in the West, I mean, look, Hasbro Black Series has released some of these droids and they look okay, sure, fine. But um, in terms of aesthetic and playability, yes, you do have to build these. Yes, you do have to paint, do some painting, very basic painting, or at least know how to apply some of these stickers. But once you have that, you have something that's way more fun. And in terms of the price, these are probably the same or even cheaper than the Black Series stuff because Black Series has rigid pricing, like it doesn't matter how big the figure is, they still seem to cost the same when they come out. So you're paying something the same as a Luke Skywalker and then you pay the same for a droid. The droid's smaller so you're thinking, oh why am I paying the same? So that kind of sucks. So in terms of the pricing, you get much more here. First of all, I don't like the soft rubbery plastic that you would get on the Hasbro stuff. It should be fine with R2-D2 since he's mostly just a bucket, but the little arms and the head come out, that's probably not going to look that good. Second of all is playability. Once you've built these, these come with so many accessories. Like just the base droid alone, even if you don't get the jet booster R2, you still get a lot of accessories. You can convert them into flying one, prequel stuff, got all these different arms. And if you do get these extra droids, they come with accessories for R2 as well as their own. Like the Black Series Black like Death Star droid there, I've seen it, it looks alright, it's one of the best looking Black Series stuff I've seen because it's not a humanoid character, but if you want him to open his flaps, have all these little arms poke out, then not, it's not going to happen. And of course the R2-D2 accessories will fit on him because he's the same model kit. So the more of these droids you get, the more you can mix and match and have a lot of playability. And if you're not too fussed about painting, and if you really don't want to repaint the same stuff over and over again, once you painted the accessories for one droid, you don't need to paint the other stuff because you just give it to them. <laughs> yeah, uh, these are just really cool. Uh, I kind of want to go back and get an R4, but that R4 is bundled with another R2-D2 and... I guess it's alright. I'll probably paint that R2 into like a green or red one, that'd be fine. As for... Um, and I'll definitely be picking up the next one in March, so stay tuned for that and I'll paint it up nice as well. But for right now, I think I'm done with these droids. I'm not gonna bother any more painting with them. I'm quite happy with how they look right now. Quite happy with how I can play with them or display with them right now. And I think these droids are just super duper awesome. 
I think Bluefin is importing them to the west, so if you can get those that way, it should be alright. And you definitely have a lot of fun. And if you are a model kit builder and a Star Wars fan, there's just no competition. These are some of the best 112 stuff that you can get for Star Wars, so definitely pick them. So, what do you guys think about these droids? Um, I'm not calling myself a pro painter by any means, so some of you might look at these and think, Ah, oh, you didn't even sand down the edges and that looks crap. I'm fine with that, it's alright. You can leave those comments below and say, Ah, oh, you didn't paint it right. <laughs> oh, you messed up the plastic, or oh, you broke stuff, oops. <laughs> so you leave those comments <laughs> below and if maybe you have some of these model kits and you posted some pictures online leave some links below as well I'm more than happy to see what other paint jobs that people have done maybe someone would have uh, some weather defects those are nice too I just don't prefer them myself as always you can support this channel by turning ad block off sharing these videos clicking the like or dislike button leaving a comment sharing with other people or heading over to Patreon and supporting it that way. Not getting enough views anymore on this channel, so I'm just sticking around here for hobby's sake. But if you do enjoy this video, please help support it. As always, take care, have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon, and may the force be with you.